I still remember when I was in foster care. I don't want him to go through the stuff that I went through. He reached out for support, including services and programs in our community through Gulf Coast JFCS. For me, what helped me was just not looking at it like all this stuff is like happening to me. It's happening for me. The first obstacle was housing. At the time, I was basically homeless. I was sleeping in my car. So the stable housing thing was like a huge thing. They also helped him get a job. But employment, that leads to a career. You don't know your full potential until you reach for it. And parenting classes. I didn't have a mom. I didn't have a dad to kind of have that, like, that blueprint of what a, a parent should be. The people that are in my life right now, I feel like I'm surrounded by role models, that they've just helped me in so many different aspects of my life, especially mentally and emotionally, understanding myself, understanding my kids more. Because of his hard work, his son Jaden is back home, but Mays knows that the work isn't done. He now sees every day as an opportunity to better both of their lives. I get Jay every single weekend, sometimes during the week, because his mom and me, we live in the same complex. I try to take advantage of all the time that I can with him. This is when, you, when I start to think about it. Sorry. All I can do is be the dad that I didn't have. I love you. So for me, breaking the cycle is that right there. These programs, they help me to do that. I think the support and continued support of JFCS is needed. I'm just grateful to be in a position to where I'm receiving all these blessings, because that's what they are.